if anything went wrong, we were gonna miss the game. Yeah, that's it. Elijah is a professional basketball player who currently plays in the EuroLeague and lives in the country of Turkey with his wife and son. Logistically, filming these documentaries can be quite the undertaking. With Elijah's advice, we figured everything out and planned to fly out to Turkey to interview Elijah and film him in a couple games. But I realized after booking the tickets that the game was actually going to start only four hours after we were going to land. What happens if it's delayed? What happens if we don't get in on time? Rushing, because it was like an hour from the airport to the stadium. Miraculously, everything went right. We were able to get there on time. We were able to rent the car. We were able to drive to the stadium. We showed up an hour before the game. We were able to get in and we were able to film the game that night. Elijah had a great game and we were on cloud nine with the footage that we captured in such an energetic environment. And that was just day one of the trip. Day two of our trip to Turkey, we had some downtime to visit the city and see some of the history there. We met up with Elijah a couple days later to film him and his family. Elijah grew up in Atlanta, Georgia. Our video team had the opportunity to go and interview his parents and some of his childhood coaches. They all talked very highly of him and always knew there was something special about Elijah. I, I remember thinking, man, I, I'm only going to get to coach a kid like this probably once in my life. Today we are at the home of Coach Randy Kane, who was Elijah's coach in middle school. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Randy. This you did a great interview. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> so when we went to Atlanta to interview Elijah's coaches, there was one coach that his mom said we had to talk to, and that was Tommy Slaughter. Tommy Slaughter is an incredible man. He's kind of a legend there in Atlanta. And so to get an interview with Tommy was not the easiest thing. We were actually in Atlanta at lunch, and we were there at a place called The Varsity. The and I get a call from Tommy. I had been bugging this poor guy for weeks. So I said, hey, Tommy, you know, are we going to be able to do this today? And he's like, oh, where are you at? And I said, we're at the varsity. And he said, oh, really? And I said, OK, here's what we're going to do. And he, he said, I want you to get me two chili dogs and an orange drink and some fries and meet me at this place and this time, and we'll do it. He is one of Elijah's biggest role models from his childhood. Along with training Elijah, Tommy has worked with many NBA stars from Atlanta, including Dwight Howard, Derek Favors, and Josh Smith. Elijah met his wife while attending BYU University in Provo, Utah. They have been living in many different places and countries since they have been married due to the demands of Elijah's career. They have a son who is almost two years old named Blue and are expecting baby boy number two this summer. Elijah is all about routine and keeping his body in the best shape to perform. We filmed him do his daily cold plunge, which looks nice and sunny out, but it was honestly freezing and windy, and we were glad that we weren't the ones getting in the water. I think cold plunges allow you to do something hard to start the day, um, along with a lot of recovery benefits. So try to take care of my body, it's my job, my profession, and I try to do it to the best of my ability. From there, we went to the stadium where his team plays. We basically acted as flies on the wall while Elijah went through some of his workouts. And then we had an empty stadium to film a more cinematic scene that we directed with Elijah. We interviewed Elijah's wife, Janelle, to hear more about his story. Janelle has a very unique reality being married to a professional basketball player and living in a foreign country. The Bryants have lived in Israel, Turkey, and many places in the U.S. since they've been married. Elijah has very supportive and loving parents. He credits a lot of his success to the intense way his mother raised him and pushed him to excel in what he loved to do. So this ball is the Euroleague Championship ball of last year when they won in Serbia. Okay, that is the awesome. Ball. So cool. Really How did you get that? <laughs> Elijah took it like this and handed it to me and says, don't, don't leave, don't let go of this. Don't give it to anybody. I don't care if they ask you. When Elijah was playing for the Milwaukee Bucks in the NBA, his team ended up winning the NBA championship that year. 
The following season, Elijah was playing for Anadolu Efes and won another championship in the EuroLeague. Elijah is one of three players who have ever done that, winning back-to-back championships in the NBA and the EuroLeague. After spending time with Elijah, his family, and some of his coaches, we learned that all of Elijah's success was founded on how he exercises his faith. In Elijah's story, he makes it very clear that he would not have been able to do what he has done without God. He has created a beautiful life for him and his family, and this is only the beginning for Elijah Bryant. Subscribe to make sure you don't miss the release of Elijah's story that will air on April 20th, 2023.